What's up everybody, it's Joe from Complex. Season 15 of Sneaker Shopping is officially wrapped. And we haven't answered your questions in a while. So here we are to put a pin in the season and give you some behind the scenes info on the show. Favorite moment of season 15? I really love going down memory lane with Dennis Rodman. Rodman is such a style icon, and to this day, you see so many young kids wearing shirts with his face on it. What I loved about the Rodman episode is we flew in some of his sneakers to have on set, and you could tell from the episode there were sneakers he hasn't seen in years. The Darwins, the Endestructs. It was like his memory was immediately refreshed, and he told great stories about them. The other moment of season 15 I loved is when we had Angus Cloud, and on a whim, Angus went into the Grail case at Flight Club. Very funny spontaneous moment that people had a field day with on TikTok. It smelled like a shoe, uh, a shoe box every stop. All right, let's get into some of the questions. Sean1007 asks, who is one guest that you had you didn't think would actually come through, but did? Well, to answer your question, I'm extremely superstitious, so up until the last second of a guest showing up, I never fully think we have the episode in the bag. Sometimes I don't even tell my family or friends who I have on the show until you guys see it on YouTube. There's constant schedule changes and cancellations. For season 15, I won't name any names, but we had three cancellations. The good thing is we usually end up getting the talent who canceled eventually, so hopefully you'll see those episodes sometime soon. Caitlin Musical asks, has there ever been a sneaker that someone purchased on the show that you couldn't believe they picked up? Good question. I think there's always those outliers like PJ Tucker buying the Red Khaled Grateful Threes or Bryson Tiller buying the Nike Mag and the Red Octobers. But what I really like is when a guest like Johnny Knoxville buys one special pair, like the pair of the 1994 Chicago Ones he bought this past season. Ooh, look how quick I am. Johnny, who wore the same Chuck Taylors for decades buying his first pair of Jordans, to me makes for a real pop culture crossover moment. Extremely famous actor, comedian, coming on the show and getting one of the best pair of sneakers ever made. Those are the shopping moments I live for. Michael Indig asks, I'm a dental student. What pair would you recommend for all day comfort and perhaps a little heat hype as well? Michael, good question. I think often we think of sneakers that look the best and sometimes those sneakers aren't the most functional or most comfortable. If you're going to be on your feet all day and don't want the quintessential monarch referee type of sneaker, I would recommend a sneaker like this, the Solomon XT4 Advanced. It is currently in my rotation and if the tie-dye colorway is a little loud for you, there's other colorways of this model that are a bit more muted. Can't co-sign this one enough. A commenter asked, Joe, what's your current sneaker shopping habits been like? I've been really trying to go back and chase sneakers to collect. There are a bunch of vintage resellers who are coming across super rare pairs that I'm looking to save from my collection. One that comes to mind recently is this Darius Miles Jordan 16 sample. These are a size 18. I think he actually played in them. Darius Miles and Quentin Richardson were signed to Jordan brand and their player exclusives were awesome in the early 2000s. Also, go check out that full size run episode with those two if you haven't seen it. I also got the sneaker shop and crew these original baby size shake and destructs a couple weeks after we put the Dennis Rodman episode up as a keepsake for such a good episode. We gotta do a size comparison, baby size 9C and a size 18 Darius Miles. So two recent pickups, Two totally different pairs of sneakers, but they are vintage in the same right. Darius Miles, Jordan 16, and an original 1996, I believe, Baby Shake Indestruct, Dennis Rodman shoe. Freddie Elliott, like a lot of you asked, what's my current rotation? Let's get to it. Current rotation, HTM Air Force Ones. Like I said, I've been trying to find sneakers from a past era that are still wearable. Sneakers I remember vividly being featured in Complex when we had a print magazine. These HTM Air Force Ones, I think they're limited to like 1,500 pairs and celebrate the brainchild of Tinker Hatfield, Hiroshi Fujiwara, and Mark Parker were one of the elusive pairs from an earlier era that I never got. They released in 2002. I recently got a good deal on them from someone based in Tokyo. The quality is crazy on these. A1, great pair. If you guys have been listening to the Complex Sneakers podcast or watching it, you know that I wear these nonstop. I travel in these Comme de Garçon 95s. I'm sort of a creature of habit when it comes to wearing sneakers for stretches of time, and the 95s have been my go-to lately. I have a few customs from Lorenzo G. The Coral Studios 95s are always in my rotation, and even this obscure black-pink pair that only released in Japan in 2019 has been another go-to. I wear a ton of 95s. I've been wearing them consistently for a few months. Another pair in the rotation, Salehi Bembury Crocs. Did we ever think a pair of Crocs would make it into the rotation? I feel like Salehi changed the game with these, and it's a pair I've been wearing around the office, on short trips to the store, on the weekends, and everything in between. I know these last releases caused hysteria, but hopefully there's more pairs available as the demand continues to grow for these. 
Last but not least, always in my rotation, Mars Yard 2.0, Tom Sachs for Nike. Always look better with time. The box is falling apart. The upper and the tongue seems like it could come undone at any minute, but still one of the best pairs in the last decade. I wear these all the time. You guys see them on episodes all the time. It's a shoe that you could beat up, still looks great. These will always be in my rotation. Well, that's it. You guys sent the questions in. We answered some. Thanks for always watching. We're already gearing up for season 16. We'll be back in a couple weeks. It's gonna be a big season. See you soon.